Lord let's Lord. focus on them. Should the Prime Minister say yes to the Save the Children proposal to take in 3,000 unaccompanied child migrants or refugees? I think there's a humanitarian case uh, for that, and I think we're going to see some movement towards that. It is fraught with problems. I mean, you need to sort out uh, how these kids have, uh, have got there, that they are genuinely um, lone um, kids. They're not going to fall into the hands of sex traffickers, people traffickers and other abusers. And there's also the issue that we have a record number of children in care in the United Kingdom at the moment, the highest number for 35 years. We have a shortage of 10,000 foster carers. So we need to be able to find them places with specialist support that they're going to need over here as well. So there are practical considerations. But, but I think you from would a humanitarian support... point of view, we probably are going to have to do something. I think, right. I do think you think you should do something? Well, I think we have a duty of care towards those children in appalling circumstances. I think our policy and the Prime Minister's policy has been absolutely right that we focus on refugees, genuine refugees, taking from the refugee camps around Syria. And it's Germany who has unilaterally suspended all the European immigration laws and has caused this crisis. And there's now a big backlash against this, uh, this crisis across the whole of the continent of Europe. Right. We mustn't be drawn into that. Well, and, and on that, flowing from that, are European governments right to have put up their own temporary borders to deal with this crisis? Well, you can understand why they're, they're doing it. And also, this is why this has to be <clears throat> resolved, because unless this is resolved about who takes what share, they all end up in Greece or Italy. So should Britain have taken part in a quota? No. No, not in a quota, not. but we should, well, on, the, on, the child, on the children... Yes, uh, but make before sure the children came up, there was, as you yeah. know, this proposal for a quota system, which would have been what you've just said. If everybody had taken a quota of refugees and migrants, then... As you said, it wouldn't have led to well, this we need to, we need to work together with European countries to make sure that people uh, that t take their, their, their fair share. But I don't think a, a crude quota system. But on the issue of these children, you know, Tim says that we need to make sure they're not falling into the hands of traffickers. The longer we delay this decision, the more likely they fall into the hands of traffickers. Sure. And I also and recognise uh, the point, Tim, that you're making, that, you know, we need to make sure there are places. But 3,000 children mean five per constituency in the country. It means in my city of Leeds, uh, right. just under and, 40. Okay. We can absorb and we have those 10, children and we should. Carers less. Can look, look, when we're talking about fair share, let's remember that us, more than any other European nation, is paying more than our fair share of aid towards uh, those people displaced from Syria. £1.2 billion, doing a great job over many years looking after people in difficult circumstances in the camps in places like Jordan, uh, Lebanon and, and Turkey yeah. to avoid this exodus of people risking their lives it's coming not, across not the, working, the Mediterranean. It's not working, though, is it? Because <laughs> they are also, still coming. It would have been a lot worse, and it certainly... You think would there would have been more? I, there would have been more, and if Germany hadn't unilaterally opened its uh, doors, suspended uh, Schengen, suspended uh, the Dublin, the Dublin um, Convention, then well, we wouldn't have this sort of crisis now. Well, if they'd I... spent the money mm -hmm. on the ground looking after those people closer to Syria, we would not be in this position we're in now. Let's talk about but the Border Patrol spending... Guards, but let's talk about the Border Patrol Guards, because, as you say, something needs to be done. The Czech President has called on EU member states, including Britain, to send 500 soldiers to bolster the continent's Border Patrol and Coast Guard. Would you support British soldiers going? Well, I, I think if, if that is what is needed to, to protect our, our borders. But also, there's a reason why these people are flowing in, because they are fleeing terror. And I would just say on this point about we're spending a lot of money, we're also spending a lot of money taking military action, but also we need to deal with the root causes of the problem. And so you, the would, people who are so you fleeing, would support, then, the border... Um, um, ...terror uh, uh, t t today. I think, really, Joe, the point is we've got to deal with the reasons why sure. these people Sure, but the are... crisis is now, and if that was one of the, 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 one of the proposals now, now would you support Britain sending soldiers to a border patrol on the continent? Well, I think if we're just keeping people out, we are not dealing with the problems that we are facing. We have got to both provide the support for countries that really are on the front line, uh, obviously in Syria, but with also soldiers? in Lebanon and in the, in, in the camps, to make sure that the camps there are and the countries who are supporting uh, the refugees are um, living in humanitarian conditions so that they are not then forced to leave those countries. All right. But then also, when they get here, that they are not 
not then exploited uh, as, as many children are being um, at the moment. But, but Rachel has said that there does need to be some sort of assistance. I mean, would you support British soldiers um, or British personnel effectively defending what has been the Schengen well, Zone? What's it going to look like in practice? I mean, mm. Fortress Europe in practice, are we going to have British soldiers on the beaches of uh, Greece with, with, with guns drawn saying in. you're not coming yeah. off those, those boats. How practically is this going to happen? We should be doing, Europe should be doing a lot more dealing with places like Turkey, which is a safe country to work out why those people are risking their lives to come across from Turkey to Greece in most uh, places also help in the first place. And I'm, and I'm not sure how placing a lot of soldiers on the beaches in Greece or uh, Italy is going to solve that problem at all. If Jeremy Corbyn were Prime Minister now, though, we would be talking about much bigger numbers. Absolutely. Because he would like it's to irresponsible. do the same as... Angela Merkel, is he irresponsible, as Tim said? Would that be irresponsible? I don't think that we should have an open border policy. I don't think that that's right. So he's Whether wrong. it comes to um, uh, asylum seekers uh, or uh, economic migrants. You know, the reality is there are pressures on public services in this country. There are pressures on wages, on, uh, on, on homes and all the rest of it. And so I think you've got to have clear rules, but both on asylum, asylum and on economic migrants. And it was a pretty migrants. cheap publicity stunt by Jeremy Corbyn over the, over the weekend going to those uh, camps. The question he should have been asking is why are there 6,000 people camped around uh, Calais? Why are the French authorities under EU law not processing them, seeing if they have a legitimate claim and then dealing with them, rather than allowing them to be deluded, thinking there's some paved with gold situation they can come to in the UK, when most of them will have no natural right to, to be here, allowing them to live in those squalid conditions yes. under a false premise. No he right. wasn't asking those questions. It was all about, oh yes, we'll, of course we'll take you more. Yeah. And it's it, completely irresponsible and, if those, and impractical. I, I agree Should with he, you, Tim, that those that they do. need to be they need to be processed. These yeah. uh, the people who are now, in these, do you agree these that it was irresponsible no, of Jeremy Corbyn to actually go there? Camps. That it was, it was a cheap. A I don't know. I don't think it was a cheap publicity stunt. stunt. I think it is right that somebody in position of responsibility like Jeremy Corbyn does see for himself the situation that is there because then you're able to take a more informed um, uh, decision about it. But I do think that it is important that we, um, that we don't have an open border uh, policy. That is not right. It's not right for people who are already um, uh, here. But there is something practical we could do. And actually, we need to build a cross-party consensus on this between Jeremy Corbyn, the Prime Minister, and us backbench MPs the about these 3,000 children. But we can do something about that. Uh, the children, if we all we argue from yes. the same... Well, look, uh, but just, um, but just um, saying, of course, we're going to take lots more is, is just completely No, but that's why I've tried and to focus more on... more resentment in and the that's UK why I'm about whether we should be doing as much as on, we as I think Is that because you're embarrassed by what Jeremy Corbyn has no, said. because I think that we are perhaps on the cusp of doing something that is the right thing to do, All which right. is taking those unaccompanied children. And I think that is a moral responsibility well, and uh, something we can build cross-party consensus. Tim, do you think that is going to happen in the though? country? Do you, you said at the beginning you thought. I think we're. I think we're moving there. I, I think right. because it's clearly been told under. Or? I haven't. No, I haven't been told at all. It's clearly under discussion. The comments right. were just in yeah, beginning yeah. Um, yesterday. I think it will be odd if something now didn't happen. Let's talk about the wristbands. Um, asylum seekers mm. in Cardiff being made to wear wristbands in order to receive appalling. food. You think it's appalling? And yes. marking I mean, why do you think these problems keep occurring? We have the red doors issue. Um, again, marking out uh, those people who are either going to receive food vouchers or help. Um, why do you think this just, is happening? Just a bit of common sense needs to be used here. To use tactics that smack of the Nazis about putting badges on, uh, on, on people is completely unacceptable. We have lots of technology. Give them a smart card so they can uh, get their food out. This is what happens when you crazy. stop thinking about people right, yeah. as humans. Absolutely. These are humans just like the rest of us. And to treat people in this way is despicable Absolutely. and it, it has to well, end. Well, we'll no doubt hear uh, from the government what their decision will be. Labour